I'm going to make a cross with Optimara Michelle right here and possibly with uh, Carmel's Rare Jewel that's one of the flowers right here okay so I have some I'm going to remove the blossom from here uh, I use a uh, I use a product called a veggie bee it makes it easier to uh, remove the pollen it sort of vibrates the uh, the pollen from off the anthers and so let's see here if we can get it together here I have some blossoms I think the stigmas are ready and I'm going to apply them to the pollen okay so I if I can zoom in a little bit here I have some black gift paper and I take this I turn on the veggie pea and I get the pollen so you see Pretty quick process. Set it to the, so I'm gonna set this to the side. I have some pollen on the paper. You see it here, and I just take my finger, rub the pollen against it like this, and I apply it to the stigmas and you see the stigma okay. oh. the stigma right here and I have another one that I, saw, I think is ready this one is right here and uh, there's only two of them that was ready and that's it. And so I've pollinated the African violet and uh, we shall see what happens. And here is the uh, seed pod 24 days later after I pollinated it. And you can see that I do have a seed pod on here but it's sort of um, dead looking so I don't suspect it's going to survive the three or four months it needs to to be viable but um there it is right here yes I haven't kept the plant under good culture uh I let it dry out a few times and so that's probably the reason why the uh seed pod doesn't look so viable but there it is